Okay then, so we've got to the point now where I'd like to replace this text with some kind of a logo instead, an image. Now to work with images, we're going to have to talk about static assets in Next Applications. And the way we work with them is very, very simple. All we do is place them inside this public folder and anything inside here is made accessible from the browser. So we can already see this image right here, an SVG file, and that was something that the boilerplate next application that we created used initially. We don't need it anymore though, so we can delete it if we want. What I'm going to do is also place in another image, this ninja list icon right here. So this is what we're going to use inside our navbar. Now to do that, we're going to go to the comps folder and then navbar, and we're going to place an image right here. So IMG. Now, I'm not going to have an alt for this just yet. And then the source right here is just going to be forward slash and then whatever the path is inside the public folder to that image. So in our case, just logo.png. And that's all there is to it. So if I save this now and preview, we can see this gigantic ninja list icon right there. OK, so that's how we use images. Now, something new that next version 10 brings to the table is the image component, and we can use this instead of this IMG tag. So what I'm going to do is try using that instead. So let me say import, and it's going to be image from next forward slash image. And then all we need to do is replace this right here with image like so instead. Now we still have a source attribute, which is exactly the same, but check this out. If I save it now and come over here, we get an error. And if we take a look at that error, it says this image component must use width and height properties. So it forces us to add these properties to images. And it also automatically makes the image responsive based on these properties we give it. So what I'm gonna do is give this a width equal to one to eight so like this and then i'm going to give this a height equal to 77. so if i save this now and preview over here we can see that looks a lot better okay now another good thing about using this image component instead of the standard html one is that it automatically lazily loads in the image so if the image was somewhere down below this window right here and we had to scroll down to it it's only going to load in the image when we scroll to that point and we need to see it on the web page so it optimizes this for loading speeds if you like okay cool so that is the image component the other thing i want to talk about in this video is metadata so sometimes you might want to add in a custom title in the head for each page. And remember, the title inside the head is the thing that shows right here. So I might want it to say homepage ninja list or ninja list homepage rather. If we go to about, it should say ninja list about instead of this URL in the tab instead. So we can do that, but also we can add metadata as well. How do we do this though? Because all that stuff goes inside the head of an HTML document. If we open this up, and go inside the head, this is where it goes. And we don't really do anything that goes inside the head right here, do we? Well, what we could use is the head component that's built in to next. So if I open a page and I'm gonna to go to the home page, you can see right here that we have the head imported already because we used it inside the boilerplate project that we created. So all we need to do is use that component down here and then we can place any title or metadata inside it. And what next we'll do is take that and insert it into the head of our documents. So let's do that. So I'm gonna place the head above the div like this and then inside the head is where we do the title and the metadata but first of all notice all of this error right here and that's because now we have two root components we have the head and the div next to each other inside the return and we can't do that in a react component it has to be a single returned element so what i'm going to do is a fragment to surround this which is just an empty tag and then i'm going to indent this okay cool so inside the head we want a title tag first of all and for this i'll just say ninja list then i'll do a pipe and then i'll say home so that gives us a title now for this component for this page so if i close this off we can see up here ninja list home now we could also add in metadata if we wanted to for example keywords so i could come down here and say meta and then it's going to be keywords and the content i'll just put ninjas like so so 
if I save this and come over here, I'm going to inspect and I'm going to open up the head and then keywords we can see is right here. Awesome. Okay, so I can do this for any different component. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to the about component this time and paste it in here. Again, we need to surround this now with a fragment like so. Okay, cool. And now if we go to the about page, we should see up here, if I refresh, okay, we get an error because we've not imported head in this component. So let's do that. Let's import head from, and then it's next forward slash head. Save that. And now we should see up here, Ninja List Home on the about page. Let's change this to about and save it. And voila, okay. So there we go, my friends. That's how we use images and also metadata inside the head.